Hello, welcome to Knowledge of Physics. In this video, I am going to show you how to find out the derivative of sine of x by x from first principle. To find the derivative, uh, let's y let's consider y is equal to f of x is equal to sine of x by divided by x. And suppose del x and del y be small increments in x and y. then from the first principle of derivative we can write derivative of y with respect to x is given as dy by dx is equal to limit del x tends to 0 del y by del x is equal to limit del x tends to 0 f of x plus del x minus f of x by del x equal to um, limit del x tends to 0. Now we have to write f of del x x plus del x in terms of given function that is sine of x plus del x divided by x plus del x minus sine of x by x whole divided by del x del x again equal to limit del x tends to 0 mm, take the LCM of two ratios x times x plus del x and we are left with x times sine of x plus del x minus x plus del x times sine of x now limit del x tends to 0 open the bracket open the bracket and take common x and we get x times sine of x plus del x minus x times sine x minus del x times sine x is equal to limit del x tends to 0 now we take limit uh, we take common x and then x times sine of x plus del x minus sine x minus del x sine x whole divided by x times del x x plus del x times del x since uh, the ratio is of del x function of del x so we can take out uh, 1 by x times x plus del x by substituting the value of del x then we get 1 by x 1 by x times x plus 0 times limit del x tends to 0 x times sin x plus sin x plus del x minus sin x minus um, del x times sin x whole divided by del x now we separate two terms the first term is limit del x tends to 0 x times sin of x plus del x minus sin x whole divided by del x minus limit del x tends to 0 del x times sin x by del x del x del x cancel out, cancelled out now we use in the first term the relation sin c minus sin d is equal to 2 times sin of c minus d divided by 2 times cos c plus d divided by 2 using this relation here we get x times limit del x tends to 0 2 times sin of x plus del x minus x divided by 2 times cos of x plus del x plus x divided by 2 whole divided by del x minus and the second term is we are left with sin x equal to 1 by x square x times limit del x tends to 0 2 times sin x sin of del x by 2 cos of 2x plus del x divided by 2 2 whole divided by del x minus sin x now in next space dy by dx is equal to 1 by x square times x limit del x tends to 0 2 sin 
del x by 2 multiplied by cos of 2x plus del x divided by 2 whole divided by del x minus sin x. Taking cos term outside from the limit, we get x times cos of 2x plus 0 divided by 2. We used here del x is equal to 0 inside a cos term. Um, times uh, this factor times limited del x tends to 0 2 sin of del x by divided by 2 whole divided by del x minus sin x is equal to 1 by x square uh, x times cos x and limit del x mm, tends to 0 sin del x by 2 taking the 2 below del x we get uh, such a term minus sin x. Now using the standard relation limit theta tends to 0 uh, sin theta by theta is equal to 1 in first term inside the, this square bracket square we get dy by dx is equal to 1 by x square cos of x times 1 this term the term inside the square and not square and that is rectangle term is 1 minus sin x so we get d by dx sin x divided by x is equal to x times cos x minus sin x whole divided by x square which is required derivative of sin of x divided by x from first principle in this way you can find the derivative of sin x by sin x divided by x from the first principle you can apply this method to find the derivative of other functions as well from first principle. Thank you so much for watching. Stay connected with us.